Salve a tutti amici di Comics Reporter, Fumetto Mania, oggi abbiamo un ospite internazionale molto amato e molto apprezzato in Italia, quando pensiamo a Ghost Rider pensiamo solamente all'artista Mark Texeira. Welcome Mark! Welcome! Okay. Allora, ciao, cominci- ciao, 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 ciao. <ride> Allora, cominciamo subito con la prima domanda. Mark, per favore puoi parlarci dei tuoi progetti presenti e futuri se non sono confidenziali? Um, yeah, I'm working on a project uh, with uh, AWA uh, Studios. They're publishing uh, Frank Cho's uh, Fight Girls at the same time. So it's kind of, a, they haven't released the information, but uh, this is one of the pages that I'm working on right now. So you can see the inks. I don't know how much of that you can see, but. Okay. So, you know, and it's, um, I've done so far three issues out of five. So um, it's, uh, I have to wait uh, to, for them to release, but uh, this is sort of the third issue cover. I don't know if you can wow. see that. But uh, uh, it's a uh, lot. So that's pen and ink, and then it gets digitally colored. And, and uh, that and some, um, you know, uh, occasional covers, but I haven't been working for anybody in the last two years other than these people because they uh, paid me my highest rate in the industry so far. Andiamo avanti con la seconda domanda. La tua tecnica narrativa è fortemente legata al dinamismo, all'azione, come se schizzassi i personaggi nelle tue vignette. Sei d'accordo con questa affermazione? Mm, well, I, I grew up reading Jack Kirby uh, in the 70s and uh, Neil Adams. So my, I think of my blended world as like a Neil Adams, Jack Kirby So it's dynamic and a little Starenko and, you know, and then movies have a major influence and I always look at research. I even have a doll uh, of the character. I, I make dolls of the character that I'm working on. So I have reference that I work from. So you can see all the detail. And the, but I, I, I painted it myself, and, but it, it allows me to see the character before I put it on paper. Uh, so, uh, Uh, in a way, it's like uh, early animation artists in Disney. They did models, and then they did like research, and then they finally did. So I, I always saw those early animations from Disney movies about how they created Fantasia or Pinocchio or, uh, or, or Snow White. And I was like, wow, I want that job. And then comic books became so much easier to get into the animation. <laughs> Ok, Mark, ti ricordiamo oltre alla tua grandissima bravura alle matite, anche conosciamo le tue doti pittoriche. Preferisci eh, il fumetto o l'illustrazione? See, it's all, the, it's all to me the same. It's like a flow of creative power. It's like, wow. So I just finished just for practicing i just finished doing an oil painting of wonder woman from the television um and uh i leave it here to dry but you can see uh i'm chasing after very classical approaches in painting you can see all the the detail oil painting you know working from the screen trying to capture all that detail and that takes like two weeks to dry once you finish this but this is paper Uh, but it's, I love working oil paints, love it. It just takes so long to do. The pen and ink is much easier. Uh, but oh, I've got other paintings I'm working on. Uh, this one uh, for upcoming projects, you can see is she space, it's a Martian and she, that's the earth on the top of the screen. So you're just playing with certain ideas. This is like a future, uh like let's say like a virtual boxing game in the future you know you can put on your rigs and take on robots and so it's just i play with certain ideas a mystical mystical uh muse of some kind you know working with design and elements so you know like stuff like uh like uh it's kirby and then it's dolly some of the dolly and then it's just a mix of other ideas you know like frizetta especially frizetta so talk about italian <laughs> so yes 
il grande Frank Frazetta. Allora Mark, intanto grazie per veramente mostrarci queste, queste meraviglie. Hai lavorato su personaggi molto scuri come Punisher, Wolverine, Ghost Rider. Quale, eh, a quale personaggio sei maggiormente legato e perché? Wow, that's a hard word because I need none of those characters I'm attached to. I'm an artist, so I tell stories. And so I think of myself as a floating uh, energy of like possibly creating characters that can be somewhat realistic. So with Punisher, I think of the taxi driver, Robert De Niro. And with Ghost Rider, I remember those Sinbad animations where Sinbad had to fight those armies of skeletons. And I think, wow, if I put that in a motorcycle, the scary skeleton would be so scared to look at, I would run for my life. <laughs> and then when it comes to Wolverine, you think of that loner, that misunderstood, almost Frankenstein character, but uh, who has a lot, of, uh, a lot of issues with his parents and, you know, and all the idea of being uh, miscast. And, and yet, you know, so yeah, I, I, I feel for all these characters, but I think of myself more as movie director, moving characters around and then trying to, bring a pathos and emotion to the, to the book. Yeah. Andiamo avanti con un'altra domanda. Nel 2017 Mark sei stato ospite in Italia alla manifestazione Etna Comics. Qual è il tuo rapporto con la no- col nostro paese? Qual è il tuo rapporto con l'Italia? Oh, it was nice seeing Mount Edna. I think it's, was it booming? I know it was, it was nice coming in Sicily. I, I was only in Rome for two hours. So I, I looked around the airport and I had a nice cappuccino. But uh, yeah, and oh, in Sicily is terrible because uh, you can't get a cappuccino after morning. That's it. No more cappuccinos. It's espresso. It's like, ah! Oh, only morning, only morning. <laughs> I love a cappuccino. I love a cappuccino. Mm-hmm. So that and the people were fantastic. Uh, I would love to return anytime. Uh, um, especially to see all the museums, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, Italy is, uh, you know, it's part of the old Roman Catholic, you know, it's, it's, it's just has so much history. Um, and again, you know, uh, Italy, uh, I've been there only once. And um, it's, just, it's just great to see the other part of you. I mean, I've been to Paris many times, and uh, four or five times, and uh, uh, Belgium. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other places in Europe. Oh, Germany a little bit, you know, here and there. And uh, Italy once, and no Greece. Never been to Greece yet. And uh, England, yes, a couple of times. And uh, so it's interesting to go back and forth. Uh, but now with COVID, oh, I haven't been on the plane in since 2018 i think you know but i moved to california from new york uh i hated the cold uh i hate the rain i don't know like in northern france it's very cold but in southern france it's like nice it's very warm very beautiful like california it's very beautiful here <laughs> uh, mediterranean sea uh, like uh, like yeah, in italy mediterranean, mediterranean yes yes tu andiamo un po indietro negli anni tu sei stato collaboratore, hai realizzato un mini comic per la serie Mattel Masters of the Universe. Amen. Per favore, racco- Amen. raccontaci un po' come è andata quell'esperienza, molti anni fa. I was 21, I was a young kid, and I just finished doing a Haunted Tales for DC. They sort of try out for artists then. And uh, they weren't going to give me a real comic book just yet. So uh, I think in the, one of the House of Mystery stories, there was a sword and sorcery story. And they liked that. So they said, oh, let's give it to He-Man him because he already did sword and sorcery. And, but when they gave it to me, it was like, um, it was like a flat drawing. Of, I don't have any drawing ideas here. But it was very flat when they gave me the drawings. It was like, um, no, there's nothing here I can show you. But when they gave me the drawings for He-Man, the clothing was separate. So they showed the dolls and then they showed the separate clothing. And I had to imagine the clothing, the cross thing. And 
And then I had to imagine the castle because they just had a drawing of the cast. So it was like just putting a world together from just simple drawings. And I think I did only four issues for Mattel. I'm not too sure. Uh, and they paid really well. So they kept all the original artwork. And I see it occasionally on auction. And, uh, and then years later, I saw the animations and I saw the TV commercials like a year later. You know, but I did. Yeah, it was so early when we started that nobody was talking about it. And I was like, "Who are these big? Who are these big? <laughs> these big muskets?" <laughs> Mark, raccontaci per favore quali sono i tuoi hobby oltre, ovviamente, al, al tuo lavoro. Quali sono le tue passioni al di fuori del fumetto? Um, my only hobbies are, uh, actually, like I said, when I have time off, I paint in oils. I have a, a, an easel here, a French, uh, a, a French, um, a French easel sitting here. And then I work at my table here. And then I don't know if you can see on the outside, but there's a swimming pool outside there. That's my hobby, swimming, <laughs> going to the beach and doing nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. So. The California life is different than New York. New York, there's no swimming. There's a lot of getting on the subway and being yelled at in New York. <laughs> ok, eh, perfetto. Mark, noi ti ringraziamo, sappiamo che sei molto occupato. Speriamo, speriamo di poterti incontrare alla Big Apple Convention a settembre a New York. Speriamo tu sei fra gli invitati della Big Apple. Speriamo, speriamo. <laughs> Cross the finger. Hopefully San Diego 21. San Diego is an hour away. I can drive there. <laughs> ok, 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 perfetto. Ok, Mark, sei stato veramente molto simpatico, ti ringraziamo. Grazie per il tuo tempo, sappiamo, ripeto, che sei molto occupato con il tuo nuovo progetto. Aspettiamo presto di poter vedere i tuoi lavori e ti salutiamo da parte di Comics Reporter e Fumetto Mania. Per oggi è tutto, a presto. Ciao, grazie. Grazie, grazie, grazie.